I can't imagine Valley View without Dr. Schweikman. He is probably the driving force behind the excellent medical care in Valley View. He gives so much to the community, more so than what you would expect out of any doctor. Having uh, the type of healthcare system that we have, it instills pride in, in the local community and pride in, in the positions that we do have. He's been a lot uh, like a friend to the family and uh, Dr. Swagman, is just, he's just part of the community and uh, he just fits right in there. He's always been right with uh, his diagnosis of my problems, I think. That means a lot if you can get that right in your hometown. You, I've never, never considered just needing a second opinion. <laughs> When I heard he was receiving this award, I was very excited for him. It's been a long time coming, and no one deserves it more than he does. It makes us all comfortable with the fact that we have someone that is part of our community, not just stopping in for a few years and moving on. It means a lot to everyone. It makes us feel just as good. Having a good doctor that's here in town as it does driving my car down the road knowing it's insured. He's, it's great to know there's somebody here if we need him. And he has been here. He is dedicated to our community, he, he takes care of our, our children and our seniors and is, is tireless in, in not only providing the personal care for us, but making sure that we are getting the care we need when we have to leave our community. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, we got the best doctor there is, and I mean it. Those there come from a trip that we had as a group of physicians. We went in for a trip for two weeks and we spent some time in various parts of the Kalahari. So on the left there is a red hearted beast. And then the next one is the famous kudu of Africa. That is a fabulous gemsbok. And then the next one is a springbok. But as you can see, it's a, it's a great cabin. So let's go fish. I grew up in South Africa and that's where I studied. When I finished studying, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I had an interest in surgical procedures. I liked surgery. So after military service, I went into a hospital where we did a lot of surgery and we worked really hard. Through the course of that, I was trying to make up my mind what I was going to do and eventually I decided I was going to go into anesthesia. I applied for it and I was accepted, but around about that time I had a good friend that was touring through Canada and he had just done some work here in Valley View. I had no idea about Canada, I had no idea about Alberta or Valley View, but he told me that he had really enjoyed working here and if I wanted to look for something adventurous. This was a good place to come to. That's how I ended up here. Since that time, that's where I've been. And right, whoops, he was on. Well, when you make a move like that, from one country to another, from the Southern Hemisphere to the Northern Hemisphere, everything is so different. But I really enjoyed the work and we were Welcome here with open arms. We, you, I can't say enough about how well we were treated here. And got into the work here, really enjoyed it, and made friends. And it probably took us about 10 years before we finally felt that we were home. 2410, I'll trade you charts and I gotta take this call. Okay. David, how are you doing this morning? Not bad. So how's the leg doing now? Let's take a look. 
Well, rural Alberta is a very generalized field, obviously, and it's very di diverse. We can have a baby being born one minute and we get called in for a heart attack in our special care unit the next. So you really have to be um, good at multitasking and you always have competing priorities. And so you really need to be able to be flexible in the roles that you, you do. Have you been able to keep fluids down? I had some broth yesterday. Dr. Schwigman has a lot of pressure in his role because he is called upon for various different emergencies or, you know, things that he deals with on a day-to-day -day basis, especially when he's on call. I know your brain is in other places, but Abe's here is 33. Yeah. As a team, we sometimes don't even have to communicate with each other because we all work together so well, and we just kind of all fit into our roles when we have an emergency, and things just really fall into place. We trust each other, and we have a good, harmonious working relationship with everybody in the team. There were x-rays taken last night, and what did he say? What was he said it looks good, but he wanted to get all of the specialists to make sure that he had proper we are part of a big family here, so we ha I think we have a personal connection to it. I'm really proud of the place, and that's why I'm here every night. <laughs> so have we got a spot for him up front? Yeah. I will have to make one. <laughs> Probably sometimes um, I spend more time here than with my own family, so we get to know each other pretty well. So let's just get the paperwork done. Okay. It's really nice to have someone who's f very familiar with the community, with the patients, has that developed that relationship with the community, with the, with the MD, with the town, the mayor, and so you have that support as well. Dr. Schwagman has been uh, the driver in, in the new medical clinic that we're very proud of that the town and the MD uh, jointly uh, constructed, and uh, we think that it offers uh, uh, great opportunities for physicians that want to locate to the area. He's been the glue that held everything together, you know, the new hospital, the new clinic, the push to go forward. And now we have probably one of the finest facilities in Alberta. In the last few years, we've been lucky enough to get a brand new hospital. It has everything in it that we would want in a rural area. And for some reason, we've just been able to build up a good team spirit and Honestly, the way the hospital is run is just, it runs smoothly. We've always had good staff and I think it's got to do with the fact that we just have a good community here, good people. Then maybe if you have enough time, I'll show you my game room downstairs. Okay. <laughs> I, I find the most rewarding part of work here is the longer you stay here, the more people become attached to you and there's a vice versa. And I think that you start feeling more committed, more involved and in a way it becomes frustrating because you just feel that you can't help everyone all the time. You just don't have time and resources but at the same time when you do have a more serious problem and you dedicate the time to it and you're able to help those people through it, the reward of it is unbelievable. So how long have you been here now? I'm here 30 years. Years. That yeah. we this moved up here. here, and you moved from with Calgary. From Calgary, yeah, yeah. See, so city people can survive here. Oh, you better believe it. He cares about his patients, and he, I think, he really loves the area, even though it's completely different from where he comes from. Dr. Schwegmann said, "Just send her to me." He gave me a prescription. He says, "I know exactly what you got, or at least I think I'm, I'm right." On Saturday at lunchtime, I was jumping all over the place already. Yeah, so <laughs> and that's not, on that's, right? and that's not exaggerating. There no. was never anything that he di didn't diagnose right. Like, you can come in there and you're really down and he puts the arm around you and come on. It's going to be all good again. So you don't think I'll ever be wrong? No. <laughs> If, if you move away from Valley View, then you're wrong. Don't fire, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> there you, there go. you go. Nice shot. You should stay for man's night if you're going to hit like that. <laughs> Problem is I don't hit like that all the time. Valley View is a typical small town. We offer uh, uh, basic amenities to uh, a physician, but I think that we also offer a, a great uh, opportunity for people that enjoy the outdoors. Too. Oh, what a nice day. Beautiful to come out at this time. Dr. Schwegman is a very outdoors sort of person. He likes fishing and hunting. It's a nice one. 
They raised their family here. Their kids were very active in sports, so we used to see them at sporting events. He has also frequently mentioned uh, the high quality of education he believes his kids got here in Valley and how appreciative he is of it. So I think the opportunities to do the things he likes to do, in addition to the services that the town of Valley provided back to his family, are what has kept him here. <laughs> you follow up that fine shot with that one. He's a much better doctor than golfer. Good job. Go look at that. No editing required. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Swagman has an excellent sense of humor. Sometimes it may, might not be apparent, but he has an excellent sense of humor. Whenever there's a practical joke that can be can be brought out, it gets brought out, and I can tell you of. Lots of those. We are part of a big family here, so we like to play practical jokes on each other. We had one of our nurses in the labor delivery room and pretended she was in labor and that the baby was stuck. And I got in there and there was this woman lying on that bed and she was yelling and shrieking. She came running into the case room and instead of a baby, it was actually one of my nurses crouched down there and she jumped out and yelled surprise. And I think I stepped back about three yards. I you know when you don't expect? He doesn't really appreciate that adrenaline rush and he was initially upset but then when we told him we would pull it on the next two doctors he thought that was excellent so he got involved in the practical joke and then he pretended to be having issues with the delivery so then we caught the next two doctors and we really you just need, you just need that in your day. The day goes so much better if you can add a little little laughter to your day. He really likes to see us at five o'clock in the morning we would crawl out of bed without combing our hair too. <laughs> they all look better without makeup. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, for sure. We agree. And if you ever want to see a treat, it's when we are late for a delivery and Michelle is behind that behind that curtain trying to get this woman to not push. She has a pleading I authoritative voice. Something like, please don't push. Please, please don't push. I can't live it down. Sorry. So... We have our fun. Here. Yeah, we do. Coming to a place like this, you are faced with challenges you don't have in the city. You have to learn to think for yourself. You've got to learn to do things yourself. But really, you have no idea what is going to come through the door. I, I get quite emotional when I think of uh, my youngest granddaughter who became very ill when she was just months old. And uh, Dr. Schwagman. Uh, recommended she go straight to Grand Prairie as fast as she could get there and no doubt he saved her life I can't help it I get choked up over that because well, you know anyone any child any baby but your own granddaughter uh, as a probably four three four month old baby he realized what the, what the situation was and no doubt saved her life and uh, I can't help but have a high regard for, for the doctor ever since. I retired approximately three years ago. Uh, shortly after my retirement, within the first year, Dr. Swagman noticed one day at the hospital that I didn't look well and or, I'd been losing a lot of weight. We found out it was my heart. Uh, probably within uh, three to four months, I was in uh, the Mazankowski Center in Edmonton having major heart surgery. I think I was pretty well resigned to the fact that I had some terrible disease uh, and I just wasn't going to make it. So I had, you know, I had made my plans and everything. It was actually a lot better than I thought, you know, was going to happen to me. I thought I was just going to die. So it was a pretty amazing experience. What's bothering you today, Cole? Congratulations on your award. You deserve it, Dr. Schwagman. Uh -huh. Good yeah. job! <laughs> the award that he's won, I think, is, uh, first of all, very well deserved. Secondly, I think it, it, it's great that his peers and others have recognized the fact of how hardworking they are around this community and kept this whole medical system in the Valley View area to be one of the most outstanding, probably, in Alberta. I'm just really happy to see you looking so good because you didn't look well when you came in. He is passionate about his, his work, he, he's diligent at his job and he strives daily to give the best quality health care he can to his clients and the community and he deserves it. Yeah. I'm hoping it really showcases that 
rural medicine is fun and exciting and rural nursing as well. A lot of people just think in a small town there's not really a lot happening and as you've seen from today there's a lot of, lots of things going on. I think it's a real honour for the community and for our Dr. Swagman to be recognised. I think they picked the right guy. I think it's a much deserved award. I think uh, Dr. Swagman has been uh, uh, the real uh, driver of uh, health care in, in our area. I'm very proud. Proud for him, proud of Val of you to have a doctor so dedicated as Dr. Schwagman. Um, quite frankly, it's been a long time coming and um, no one deserves it more. We have the best doctors in the province. Valview is a tremendous little community. We have great people here who support each other, and it is, it is exciting to have Dr. Schwegman draw that light not only to himself, but to what our community has to offer. Yeah, I think Maurice, she needs a big thank you too, because without her, he, I don't think he could do it, because in a business like this, you need the right partner. And talking to him when we were here, let him know that he had won this award. He was so adamant that this was a community award, be it from his co-workers, other doctors, his staff, to the hospital staff, to the EMTs. Everything had to do with being a team award. All in all, it's a team effort, not just with medical services, but also with our community and our patients. And at the end of the day, my feeling is an award like this goes to not just myself, it goes to our whole community. That man is just amazing. No wonder he got that award. <laughs>